Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Adam, also known as the Pickleball Guy, and in this week's video, we are gonna be talking cut, about- Cut, 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 cut. It's 12.30 everyone, lunch is- So the serve in pickleball is something that is really taken for granted. A lot of times players will find a serve that works for them and they'll just settle with that. They won't really take any steps to actually improve their serve over time. If we actually practice a serve, it can really become a tool that we use to stifle our opponents. So super quick plug here, if you're unfamiliar with the rules regarding serving, check out my very first video, Intro to Pickleball, to learn how you have to serve. So there are three important tips to really level up your pickleball serve. Number one, pick your spot. Number two, accelerate, and number three, keep it low. So when serving, we actually wanna be really intentional about where we're trying to place that ball. This is something I don't really see players do too often, but it's a really easy way to kind of level up your serving game so that way we know where we're trying to hit. If I notice that my opponent struggles with their backhand, for example, then I really wanna just keep pounding that backhand until they adjust to me. On the other hand, if I notice that they're leaving an entire portion of the court open, then I should be aiming for that spot in the court to exploit their being out of position. So tip number two is to accelerate as you're taking your serve. Whether or not you hit the ball directly out of your hand or whether you let that ball bounce, regardless, you should be making sure to accelerate so that way you're speeding up the serve and always making sure as well to keep the handle above the paddle when you serve. So when I serve, I'm gonna make sure that I'm staying low to the ground, loading up my legs, and I'm transferring my weight back and then forward, making sure to accelerate with both my lower half and my arm. It's gonna look a little bit something like this. The final tip to having a really effective serve is to keep the ball low. Similar to other aspects of pickleball, if I keep that ball low over the net, my opponents are gonna have a much harder time than if I float that ball up. So when I do serve, I'm trying to keep that ball as close to the net as possible while obviously still clearing the net to go over. All together then, a successful serve will look like this. Hey Adam, what happens if my serve hits the net but still passes across the kitchen line? Thanks. So actually, as of 2021, this is a new rule change. If your serve hits the net but goes past the kitchen line, you just continue to play as if nothing happened. My question is, how do you serve up some of your famous vegan pancakes? That is an incredible question. So, in a blender, combine two cups of oats, one and a half cups of non-dairy milk. I like oat milk because I think it has a little bit more flavor. One banana and a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, just blend that all up. Put it into a piping hot pan and you got some pancakes. I will uh, list my recipe in the comments down below. It's incredible. Hey guys, super quick pause to the video. Wanna let you know that I'm so excited to announce my brand new partnership with The Kitchen. They're the fastest growing pickleball community in the entire world right now. You can find them by searching The Kitchen Pickleball on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you guys so much. You do not wanna miss their content. Okay, now back to the video. So when practicing serves, there are two main drills that I like to do. For this first drill, we're gonna practice our precision. So what I'm gonna do is set a target up on the other side of the net, and I'm just gonna continue to serve until I hit that target. It should look a little bit something like this. It was at this moment that he knew. He f <laughs> For this next drill, Myself and a partner are gonna take turns serving to one another. So I'll stand on one side of the net and I'll serve three times to my partner who's just gonna go ahead and catch my serves. Once they've got the three balls, they are gonna serve back to me and we'll just keep repeating this until our serve is warmed up. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed and that you were able to learn a little bit of something about serves. Uh, I will link my amazing vegan blender pancake recipe in the description if you have any interest in checking it out. I promise it's delicious. And I will see you all in next week's video.